In Dallas, Texas, there is a crime wave underway, and one segment of the population is terrified. Police are working as hard as they can, but the kidnappings and brutality continue. We sent one of our top investigators, Scott Rappaport, to try and solve the mystery. Beyond the shimmer and glimmer just outside Dallas, Texas, lies a dark tale of crime, kidnapping, and unsurpassed brutality. They were torturing them. They slapped them around. They hung them. I drowned them in a commode. A tale of bizarre ransom demands that's left the victims baffled and bewildered. Well, the first time they wanted $30,000. They want $32,000 and a picture of Marlon Brando. For police on the case, it's been a seven-year saga of abductions and terrorism that they've been powerless to stop. They say the kidnappings will continue. Oh, I'm sure they will. And through it all, the victims continue to mysteriously disappear. Stole my flamingos. <laughs> they just took him. Took what? My flamingos out of the front yard, two of it. Yes, as peculiar as it sounds, flamingos are becoming an endangered species around the homes of Nancy Prather and Judith and Larry Moon. Seems that over the course of the last seven years, some bird brains have been repeatedly robbing Prather and the Moons of their pretty pink plastic pets. They leave ransom notes, demand money, threaten to harm the birds, and ultimately return them in various states of disarray. Who would do such a thing? We are the Pelican crew, baby, and we are the law in this town. And the pelican kidnappings, they will keep continuing on and on and on. They call themselves the Pelican Crew, and besides being guilty of terrible acting, police say they are the ones who've been fleecing flamingos from the lawns of our victims. Only they don't seem to know the birds are flamingos. The pelican kidnappings, pelican kidnappings, pelican, pelican. That to me shows how damn they are taking flamingos for a pelican. The pelican kidnappings. They're flamingos, not pelicans, you dumb dodos. <laughs> <laughs> but these dodos are diabolical, taking the kidnapped flamingos, torturing them on tape, and then sending the tape back to the flamingos' owners. Victims Judith and Larry Moon explain. They drowned in the toilet. <laughs> one off of a stool. They burn them with torches. Bad pelican! Burn the pelican now! Yes! Yes! They played psycho music, you know, like the movie Psycho. The birds in the shower, and they got the room real steamy. You see this big knife, and it goes, ah, 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 you know. <laughs> so why are you laughing? <laughs> because it's kind of funny, really. <laughs> Funny, maybe, but for Nancy Prather, the joke's getting old. She's had her flamingos stolen three times already and says she constantly finds herself peering out the bedroom window, waiting and wondering if the terrorists will return. You never know when they're going to bring him back. You never know when they're going to take him. You know, like every day, are they here, are they gone? Like it or not, and he's not too crazy about it, it's the job of Detective James Healy to make the world safe for flamingos again by collaring the Pelican crew. And rest assured, Detective Healy is on the case, looking for clues. If we were to find somebody driving down the street with a pink flamingo out of the back of their car or made a traffic stop with several of them in the car, I think we might have enough to at least uh, talk to them. And you tell all your friends and relationships now, truth be known, cops say these terrorists are more than likely harmless college kids getting their jollies. And it seems they always do return the flamingos to their rightful owners, eventually, though a little worse for wear and tear. But just outside of Chicago, the company that manufactures these pink flamingos throughout the United States is putting the terrorists on notice. We do take our flamingos seriously, and we're not making light of this, and we're very disturbed about this recent trend, and we'll do everything in our power to stop it. We will continue of the world. Thank you for your support. I don't understand that. I didn't support him. That's, that's kind of strange. You know, I think these people are a little backwards. <laughs> <laughs> what is your message to the kidnappers? Stay out of my yard and leave my flamingos alone. The pelican kidnappings, they will keep continuing on and on and on. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, we've got a message for the kidnappers as well. This is a flamingo. This is a pelican. And listen up. There has got to be a better way to spend your free time. Inside Edition, we'll be right back.